guys, so I thought I would do a look today that I was inspired by somebody from Instagram. I was actually inspired for this look by Alyssa Marie Artistry on Instagram. And if you can see this, you can just see how beautiful that vivid sapphire liner is. Oddly enough, she used vivid sapphire from NYX for it. I'm going to do the same. I'm gonna recreate this the best that I can on myself because when I saw it, it just took my breath away. I just thought it was one of the most gorgeous makeup looks I had seen in a long time. I'm gonna give it my best shot. If you have not checked out Alyssa Marie Artistry on Instagram, I love her style of makeup, so intense. That's what I'm gonna recreate for you today. So I hope you guys like it. Let's just get into it. So I went through my arsenal of blue products and I have them all sitting here in front of me. Of course I have what she used, which is the NYX Vivid Sapphire Liquid Liner. I also have my Makeup Forever Flash Palette, which has this vivid blue color in there. Those don't dry down though because they're like more of a creamy grease paint. I have this Tarte eyeliner in Cobalt, which is so beautiful, as you can see. I've never used this yet, but it's so vivid. And I went through all of my blue eyeliners, and these are the ones that I found, and I sort of swatched them on my hand to see which ones are gonna go best with what I'm doing today. Of all of these, the one I'm leaning the most towards that would probably work best for my waterline is going to be this Makeup Geek one, and this is the color Cobalt as well. I'm excited, let's get going. So I'm going to start off with my foundation, surprise, surprise, L'Oreal Pro Glow. If you're ever feeling uninspired or you just don't know what to do, man, turn to Instagram. That's a good place. I'm gonna go with Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in the color Fair Neutral. And I'm going to put that on my under eye area, and I'm also gonna prime my eyelids with this. Does anyone else love the way Tarte Shape Tape smells? It smells like citrus. Now, using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm going to pack that on my Beauty Blender, and I'm going to set my entire eye area with that underneath and on my eyelids. Totally off topic, but this morning I was drinking coffee and I was just browsing through YouTube and I ran across Kendall Ray's video and it was a where is, it was like an unsolved mysteries episode. She did this video that was like talking all about Kaylee Anthony and Casey Anthony trial. And I know that's like old news, but it's basically like an unsolved mysteries, like what happened to Kaylee Anthony type of video. That was shit was literally probably the most frustrating thing I've, I've ever seen like in my life. How she got a not guilty verdict, I will never understand. All right, I'm gonna go do my brows off camera and I will be right back. So I zoomed you guys in a bit because I want you guys to be able to see me do this eye look up close because I normally do that shit far away and I probably shouldn't be doing that. I'm gonna go in with Makeup Geek Shadows because I've been using my, my I've been using my Morphe palette a lot and I, I forgot about Makeup Geek for a minute, so we're going back. I'm gonna first start off with Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek. The crease is gonna be super neutral for this one because in the look that Alyssa did, it wasn't a lot. It was just a bit of definition and then it was mainly the blue liner. That might have even been the wrong color to go in with. That's a bit warm. I actually think that color was a bit too warm. So I'm going to go in with a different brush and some Latte from Makeup Geek, which is a bit more of a cool tone shade and just sort of run that over the crease area. Sort of lightly blend it out. And for that, I'm gonna be using my Furless Cosmetics Pro 7E brush. I love the way this blends. It blends so beautifully. I love Furless Cosmetics so much. This is the NYX Vivid Brights Liner in the color Vivid Sapphire. Have you ever had one of those days where your winged liner just works, especially when it's bright blue? Me either, except for today, because that just went really well and I'm shocked by it, so. So now I'm gonna fill in my waterline with this Makeup Geek pencil, and this is Makeup Geek's Cobalt. Oh, my eyeliner face, so good. I wanna smudge the shit out of my lower lash line so it does not matter if it gets underneath. Ah. Oh. If I see anywhere that has skin showing, I'm just filling in all the gaps with the blue. This is the Cobalt shade from Tarte. This is the Bent Liner Brush from Sigma, and I'm going to dip into that Cobalt shade, and I'm going to pack it heavily on there. This can be very smudgy, but it also dries down so it can stay in place. And this is very similar to this other color. I'm just running that under my lower lash line and then I'm gonna smudge it down. 
I'm going to use my Furless Pro 3M. Also running a bit of it onto my lashes because I don't have a blue mascara with me currently. So we're going to make do with that Tarte liner. Oh my god, enough. Stop. All right, and I'm going to go throw on some lashes and mascara on my top lashes, and I will be right back. All right, and that is the eyes done, and now I'm going to move on to the face. And I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette in the color Subconscious. And using my Furless Cosmetics Pro 5F brush, I am going to contour. Now I'm going to highlight my face with none other than the Balm's Mary Luminizer Highlight. Mm, I love this highlight. So pretty. Uh, for this, I'm using the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. Every product that I use today will be linked in the description of this video. So if you guys wanna pick anything up, uh, it'll all be in my description. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with Makeup Geek do -Si do This is one of the new cream stains. And now I'm gonna take the color Quick Step. This is the finished makeup look. I'm gonna go do my hair and I will be right back. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. I love it. I never do anything bright and colorful like this, but I think I'm about to change my mind on that. I have a bunch of these Vivid Brights liners from NYX and I never use them for regular everyday looks, but I think it would be fun to do a series of looks like these where it was like yellow, a whole yellow look. And I do have a new Makeup Forever yellow um, eyeliner pencil. I think it's right here. Yeah. And I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Thank you so much to Alyssa Marie Artistry for the amazing inspiration. Your looks are incredible and perfect and I doubt you'll ever watch this. If you guys are not yet and you want to see high quality images of this that I take and edit, head over to Instagram. Also, I do Insta videos on Instagram and I post those typically the same day as these go up and they're fun and I do cool edits and shit like that. So go follow me on Instagram if you have not yet. All my other social media stuff will be linked down below. Everything is the same. Raw Beauty Christie on everywhere. I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye!